Suzuki is rapidly developing a complex range of small cars. We've already been impressed by the Bolino, and the quirkiness offers something different from the mainstream. But now it's time for a new generation of the firm's center ground supermanai, the Swift. The Suzuki Swift has shifted 127,000 units in the UK since the car was rebooted, back in 2005. Now the firm has set bold targets for the new model. It wants to sell at least 20,000 examples per year to British customers, in an effort to overtake the Skoda Fabia and CT Biza to enter the top 10 sales chart for super minis. The latest Swift makes use of the same lightweight construction as the Bolino, so it sheds about 10% of its mass compared with the outgoing model. Indeed, with curb weights as low as 890 kg, it's just about the lightest offering in the class. On paper, the new car's dimensions look encouraging. It's actually about 10 mm shorter than the outgoing Swift, but crucially, its wheelbase is 20 mm longer, a tweak designed to improve cabin space. Boot capacity increases by 54 liters to now 264 liters, although it still falls short of what you'll find in a Ford Fiesta, Kia Rio or Dacia Sandero. Just two petrol engines will be offered. The entry-level unit is the 1.2-dual jet four-cylinder with 89 bhp and 120 New Mexico of torque. It manages 0-62 miles per hour in 11.9 seconds, while returning official combined fuel economy of 65.7 mpg and 98 grams slash kilometers of CO2. The other engine is Suzuki's 1.0-liter three-cylinder, direct injection booster jet turbo. It produces 110 bhp and 170 New Mexico of torque between 2000 rpm and 3500 rpm, enough to take the Swift from 0-62 miles per hour in a more sprightly 10.6 seconds. It's not quite as efficient, though, with combined economy of 61.4 mpg and CO2 emissions of 104 grams slash kilometers Suzuki's SHVS mild hybrid system is offered on both engines too as long as you go for the range topping trim level. It places a lithium-ion battery underneath the front passenger seat and uses it to harness regenerative braking energy and power a small integrated starter generator. This, in turn, assists the engine when the car is accelerating, helping to save fuel. SHVS is offered on the 1.2 in conjunction with four-wheel drive, helping to negate most of the extra weight that the more complex transmission brings. CO2 emissions rise but only to 101 grams slash kilometers. And when paired with the 1.0, it becomes the cleanest Swift of all, with CO2 emissions of just 97 grams slash kilometers the standard gearbox, incidentally, is a 5-speed manual available across the range. However, you can have the 1.0 booster jet non-hybrid with a 6-speed auto in the top spectrum level. It's actually the fastest model in the lineup, with a 0-62 miles per hour time of 10 seconds flat, Though CO2 emissions of 114 grams slash kilometers mean that it's also the least efficient version. The range will start with SZ3 trim, which is available only with the 1.2 liter engine. It brings DAB and Bluetooth, aircon, LED daytime running lights and a leather covered steering wheel, but makes do with 15 inch steel wheels and manually operated rear windows. Step up to the SZT 1.0 booster jet only which is expected to account for 40% of sales, and you'll add a 7-inch infotainment screen with smartphone link, a rear view camera, 16-inch alloy wheels and front fog lights.